It's March 6th, 2024. I'm Todd Dunn. And today I went to see the orthopedic surgeon for the one year follow-up on my total knee replacement surgery. As soon as I got there, uh, you know, I explained the issues I've been having with my knee, with the, the stiffness and the pain on the outside of the knee. Uh, and uh, how I've been dealing with it by, you know, wrapping an elastic bandage around it, just to put a little pressure on the outside, which is all it seems to need. And uh, he examined my knee and uh, you know, had me bend it while he felt it, and and uh, then he twisted it and tried to and moved it back and forth and up and down, had me straighten it all the way, and I was sitting on a. A chair and he had me bend my knee as far as I could and as I started to bend it he said 110, 120, 130 and, he, and still going and I said well, that's about as far as it's going to go. So uh, they measured it and I got 132 degrees of bend today. So he said as far as your uh, flexure and straightening and everything, everything seems fine. He said the only thing I can detect and he felt the patella, the kneecap, and he pushed it down a little and he said, there's a little bit of fluid under your patella, but not enough to do anything about. It's not really an issue. And he then had me, he held my leg, restrained it, and had me straighten it, which I did without any problem. And then he held my leg and had me bend it, and I you know, pulled his arm down. And he said, well, you don't have any strength issues. And asked me what I was doing. And I told him, well, you know, I am about an average of five days a week. I'm walking one and a half to two miles. And every day I go, I do stairs and I do two to 500 stairs. You know, some days 500, some days only 200. And he said, well, that's plenty. <laughs> and so everything checked out okay and then he sent me over to the x-ray department because his office is in the hospital and they x-rayed my leg three views and I came back and by the time I got back he uh, had already taken a look at the x-rays and he said your x-rays look great there's absolutely nothing wrong with the, the implant and uh, so he put them up, and I agree. The uh, it looks like a textbook X-ray of an implant. Everything is perfect. The spacing is perfect, even. Uh, there's and everything looks just the way it should. And there are no issues with the bones either above or below the implant, you know, in the in the femur or in the shin, and uh, just everything is fine. So, uh, told me that, you know, he can't see any reason that I should be having any stiffness other than possibly it's a tendon issue. He said there's not really any way to, you know, determine definitively if it is a tendon issue. Uh, and that basically time and exercise is what I need. Now, I think it is a little better than it was when I saw him six months ago. Actually, it's quite a bit better. And my stamina and uh, and strength and everything are fine. So, uh, you know, I've, I'm still having some issues with my leg, but it appears to be all soft tissue. It is not uh, related to the implant itself or the bones. So soft tissue, well, that's just going to take time to recover. So, as I said in my last video, my official one-year update, I can do everything I want to do. I can kneel. I can bend my knee as much as I need to. I can get down on my hands and knees on the ground. I can do all that. I can go up and down stairs, as many stairs as I want. And sometimes when I'm feeling ambitious, I'll go up and down the staircase here in the house, you know, ten times in a row. And that is, uh, you know, it's... The main floor staircase is 15 steps each way, so up and down 10 times is uh, 150 steps up and 150 steps down. So, and that doesn't bother me. 
So anyway, surgeon said, everything looks great. He said, I wish everybody's implant looked that good at one year and uh, can't see any issues with it at all. And as far as the issues I'm having in terms of discomfort, he said, well, realistically, I don't know why you're feeling that way. All I can say is it's soft tissue and possibly related to a tendon that just needs to stretch out more. So what's the prognosis? Well, I'm going to be continuing my exercising. He recommended that I up my walking a little if I can, and I'm going to try to as the weather gets better. Uh, I'll be able to go and walk more, walk further each day. The furthest I've walked so far has been about four miles. So I'm going to try and up my walking to you know two to three miles a day from one and a half to two. And uh, just you know, do more walking and do more stairs and you know continue to do the exercises that I'm doing to keep my flexure where it is. And uh, we'll just have to wait and see. The surgeon did have me put on a knee brace to see if that made any difference. And he actually had me wear it when I walked over to x-ray, which was about 100 yards away at the far side of the hospital. By the time he went through all the hallways. And uh, they took it off for the x-rays, put it back on, I walked back. And I have to say that uh, the simple elastic bandage wrapped around my knee did a better job. So no knee brace. He said, he suggested that I might try kinesiology tape. And I'll look into that but just something to put a little pressure on the outside of my knee that seems to be all i need and then my knee feels great but once again the x-rays looked perfect i mean if you look at uh, what x-rays are supposed to look like of a knee implant that's what mine look like there's absolutely nothing going on uh, that is any kind of issue and as I said, the spacing uh, in the knee joint is even, perfect all the way across. And it's, it's good. And everything just looks fantastic. So that's where I am today. Uh, surgeon did give me another appointment in a year. And we'll see how things are going then. So he's not worried. He thought, uh, you know, a little discomfort. Well... Yeah, it'd be nice if it wasn't happening, but it can take 18 months to recover, he told me. So, that's where I am. A little over a year out, a year and uh, what, about a week, and had my one-year follow-up. Knee joint looks exactly the way it should. No issues at all with the implant or the joint. Just soft tissue issues around my knee that I need to work on and I'm going to explore some more exercises to strengthen my knee. Matter of fact I might start going to uh, a gym. Uh, there's one in the next town over that I can sign up for and start doing you know some leg presses and things like that to try to strengthen my knee even more than what I'm doing. Stairs, I do deep knee bends uh, and I walk a lot and also in just over two months, the sailboat goes in the water, so I will be exercising my knee on the sailboat. So that's where I am today, March 6, 2024. Uh, the surgeon visit at the one-year point went great. And as I said, he doesn't see any issues at all with my knee, and except that I obviously have some muscle issues and... Those are just going to take exercise and time. So that's where I am. I'll come back in another month and let you know uh, how the changes I'm going to make after talking to him today uh, impact the way my knee feels. Okay, just thought I'd give you a quick update. Thanks for watching.